Hey everyone, Al Roker here. I'm excited to guide you through what's shaping up to be another fascinating winter season across the United States. Let's dive into what this winter has in store for the US. From coast to coast, the weather is always full of surprises, and this year is no exception. No two winters are ever the same. One year it's snowdrifts piling up in Boston, the next it's a surprisingly mild January in Chicago. These dramatic shifts keep us all on our toes, and they're part of what makes tracking the weather so interesting. This year, winter 2025-2026 is shaping up to be another season full of surprises. We're already seeing some unusual patterns developing, and meteorologists are keeping a close eye on how things might unfold. From California to Maine, winter means something different for everyone. Skiing and hot cocoa for some, icy roads and power outages for others. Whether you're hitting the slopes, cozying up by the fire, or bracing for a blizzard, winter brings its own unique set of joys and challenges to every corner of the country. Behind the scenes, teams of meteorologists and scientists are analyzing mountains of data, using advanced models to predict what's coming next. It's a blend of science, technology, and a little bit of intuition. Our job is to break down the big pattern so you can be ready, whether you're prepping your snowblower, planning a winter getaway, or just hoping for a few snow days. We're seeing signals of a season full of contrasts. Some regions will be colder and snowier, others milder and drier. The country's vast geography means winter never looks the same from one place to the next. We'll break it down region by region, Midwest, Northeast, West Coast, and more. Each area faces its own set of weather patterns, and we'll help you understand what to expect where you live. We'll cover temperatures, snowfall, and the big weather events to watch for. From record-breaking cold snaps to major snowstorms, we'll keep you informed about the events that could impact your daily life. Remember forecasts are roadmaps, not guarantees. Weather always has a few surprises. Even with the best technology, Mother Nature loves to keep us guessing. The goal, help you plan ahead, not predict the exact day of a snowstorm. We want you to feel prepared, not caught off guard, as the season unfolds. Will Colorado be a skier's paradise this year, with fresh powder and bluebird days? We'll take a closer look at what's in store for the Rockies. Will Florida get a cold snap? Even the Sunshine State isn't immune to winter's surprises. We've got you covered with the latest outlooks, so grab your coffee, settle in, and join me as we start our winter weather journey across America. Whether you love the snow or dread the cold, there's something for everyone this season. Let's get started. What's behind these big winter swings? Why do we see such dramatic changes in our weather patterns from one week to the next? It's not just luck, major forces are at work. These forces interact in complex ways to create the weather we experience. The main driver this year, a developing La Nina. This phenomenon has a significant impact on global weather patterns. La Nina means cooler than normal waters in the eastern Pacific, which shifts the jet stream north. This shift can lead to a cascade of weather changes. That brings colder, stormier weather to the northern U.S. Think Pacific Northwest, Northern Rockies, and Great Lakes. These areas can expect more snow and colder temperatures. Meanwhile, the south gets warmer, drier conditions as storms stay farther north. This can lead to drought conditions in some areas. Another key player, the polar vortex, a mass of frigid air over the North Pole. This vortex can influence temperatures far beyond the Arctic. If it weakens, Arctic air can plunge south causing those brutal cold snaps. These cold snaps can be severe and long-lasting. We'll be watching the polar vortex closely especially later in winter. Its behavior can be unpredictable, making it a critical factor to monitor. Ocean temperatures elsewhere matter too. Sometimes a warm blob off the west coast can block or redirect storms. This can have a significant impact on weather patterns. This year those waters look neutral but we're always monitoring. Changes in ocean temperatures can happen quickly and have immediate effects. So, La Nina, the polar vortex and ocean temps all combine to shape our winter. These elements interact in complex ways to create the weather we experience. It's a giant weather machine, and this year's settings promise a season of big contrasts. From heavy snowfalls to mild dry spells, we can expect a wide range of weather conditions. Understanding these drivers helps us see the big picture. By knowing what influences our weather, we can better prepare for what's to come. Let's see how it all plays out across the country. Each region will experience winter differently based on these factors. 
Here's what you need to know. Stay informed and stay prepared for whatever this winter has in store. Midwest and Great Lakes folks, get ready for a classic winter season that's shaping up to be both memorable and intense. Thanks to La Nina, we're looking at an active storm track this year, so you can expect frequent rounds of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Storms will roll through often, keeping roads slick and sidewalks icy, so be prepared for changing conditions. Colder than average temperatures are likely across the region, with more cold days than mild ones. You'll want to keep those heavy coats and scarves close, as the chill will settle in and stick around. Waves of Arctic air sweeping down from Canada will bring dangerous wind chills, especially in December and again later in winter. Frostbite risks will be higher. So, bundle up and limit time outdoors during the coldest snaps. The Great Lakes will be a major player, fueling heavy lake effect snow. Areas downwind of Superior, Michigan and Erie could see intense snow squalls and rapidly changing visibility, making travel tricky at times. Early December could bring a sharp cold blast and accumulating snow, setting the stage for a festive, possibly white Christmas in many towns. The holiday season will feel extra wintry this year. The coldest stretch is expected from late January through February, when the polar vortex could dip south and send even more Arctic air across the Midwest, bringing deep freezes and record lows. Bottom line, expect above average snowfall below average temperatures and plenty of winter fun, from sledding and snowball fights to the challenges of shoveling and icy commutes. Keep your winter gear handy, stock up on essentials, and be ready for a true Midwest winter. Preparation will be key to staying safe and comfortable. This season, it's going to feel like winter, through and through. Embrace the beauty, the challenges, and the traditions that come with it. Now to the Northeast. Home of the Nor'easter, the storm track from the Midwest often strengthens off the Atlantic, fueling major snowstorms. Temperatures will swing wildly as cold Canadian air battles milder Atlantic air. The rain snow line will be key. Just a small shift can mean a foot of snow or a cold rain for cities like Boston and New York. Biggest snowstorm risk late January through early March, when ocean warmth meets peak cold. Interior Northeast and New England mountains are prime for heavy snow. Great news for ski resorts. Coastal areas will see a mix but everyone should prep for power outages and big storms. Stay alert when coastal storms develop, this winter could be very active. The I-95 corridor and New England get ready for a dynamic snowy season. On the west coast, it's a classic La Nina split. Pacific Northwest and Northern California expect a steady stream of storms, bringing rain to the coast and heavy snow to the mountains. This is great news for drought relief and ski resorts from Washington to Lake Tahoe. Mountain snow will help replenish rivers and reservoirs. Meanwhile, Central and Southern California will be much drier, with the storm track staying north. Fewer rain events mean drought concerns and increased wildfire risk, even in winter. Temperatures will be near or slightly above average, especially in the south. So, it's wet and snowy up north, dry and mild down south. A true tale of two coasts. Water supply and fire danger will be the big stories. The Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, Southern Utah and Colorado will feel La Nina's dry, mild touch. The main storm track stays north, so expect fewer storms and less moisture. Below average snowfall in the mountains is a concern for water supplies and the Colorado River. Temperatures will be near or slightly above average, with chilly desert nights but few Arctic outbreaks. The main story, ongoing drought and the risk of an early wildfire season if dry conditions persist. For snowbirds it's a great winter for sunshine and outdoor fun, just remember, water conservation is more important than ever. The weather may be mild, but the drought story continues. The southeast and Gulf Coast, Carolinas to Texas, could see a twist on the usual La Nina. A more active southern jet stream may bring extra moisture and cooler temps. Expect more rainy days and chilly spells in cities like Atlanta and Charlotte. Even northern Florida could see more jackets than usual. There's a chance for wintry precipitation in North Georgia and the Carolinas if cold air and storms align. Florida will have its sunny days but more frequent cool fronts will keep things interesting. The biggest threat, severe storms when cold and warm air clash, especially later in winter. Overall, expect more rain, some temperature swings, and an active season. Good for drought, but stay weather aware.
The southeast will feel more like winter this year. Northern Rockies, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and the mountains of Colorado and Utah are in for a powder-packed winter. La Nina will send storm after storm, bringing well above average snowfall. Ski resorts from Jackson Hole to Big Sky and Utah will see deep, consistent snowpacks. This snow is vital for water supplies across the West. Expect consistently below average temperatures and plenty of that light, fluffy powder skiers love. Be ready for extreme cold, especially in high valleys. Layers are a must. The snow will start early and keep coming through February. Travel could be tough in mountain passes, so check conditions before heading out. It's shaping up to be a true winter wonderland in the Northern Rockies. That's your winter 2025-2026 outlook, major contrasts across the country, thanks to La Nina. The north braces for cold and snow, great for skiing and water supplies, but challenging for travel and daily life. The south, especially the southwest and southern California, faces a warmer, drier winter, with drought and fire risks. The southeast is the wild card cooler, wetter, and potentially stormy. Wherever you live, now's the time to prep your home, car, and emergency kit. Stay informed with your local forecast. Knowing what's coming keeps you safe. Embrace the season, whether you're shoveling snow or soaking up the sun. The weather is always an adventure and this winter will be no different. We'll be here to keep you updated every step of the way. Stay warm, stay safe, and enjoy the winter.